Hello everyone, I finally finished decorating the fishing docks area. It took me a while because it was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's what she said! <laughs> so I'm going to do a quick guided tour. Well, it's not really a tour, it's just going to be me talking about a couple of things. And then there's going to be a pretty long silent tour, that way you guys can see everything that I did. So I added a little sign over here and spruced up the entryway a little bit. I wanted this whole area to look pretty scrappy and, of course, have like a nautical vibe as far as decorations go. So you're going to see a lot of buoys hanging around and a lot of these crates. I have them everywhere. So I went a little overboard on the crates. You get it? Because nautical jokes? Nah, fuck me. So the guard posts are pretty much decorated the same way. I have three of them around here, and all of them have a radio, some sort of weapon, a chair, and a motivational Minutemen sign. I mean, if a sign like that doesn't motivate you to stand in one spot staring at absolutely nothing all day, then I don't know what will. And uh, the area below where they go to take their breaks is pretty much set up the same way. A chair, a table, something on the table, a bed, and of course another sign and or poster. Now I have a few living areas for the fishermen and shop owners. They all pretty much look like this one on the inside with nautical decorations and scrappier furniture. Like I didn't want to decorate with any TVs because it didn't make sense to give them TVs out here. And now that I think about it, it never really makes sense to decorate with TVs, right? Because I mean, what are they going to watch? And I decorate with TVs a lot, so, huh. Anyways, I really like this shop because it's old school. This is how we used to make shops look cool before we had mods on console. And look, more crates! Oh, I've had a lot of people ask me where I get these Minutemen boxes from, like this one here. These are actually plain crates and boxes that you get from a few mods like Workshop Rearranged and USO. And the Minutemen symbol is a decal from the Decorations tab under USO, which just so happens to fit perfectly on these boxes. So I just stamped them on there to make it look like the Minutemen have some kind of distribution across their settlements. Now with the shops and the bar we have over here, I put some kind of weapon close by for the owners because we are outside of the wall. Even though we have a fence and a few guard posts, I want to make sure that these guys are prepared when shit hits the fan. So keep an eye out for stuff like that during the tour. I usually put way too much thought into those kind of things when I'm decorating. Alright, most of these houses are decorated the same way, so you'll see them during the tour. I put this power line here, which does nothing, by the way. It's completely useless. It does not give off any power. You can't even connect wires to it, like I had to put conduits at the top of the pole and on top of the houses, and then I ran wires to connect them. Again, does nothing. I just wanted to make it look like this is where they got their power from. I never really show power lines in my build, but I thought it would look cool in this one. And if you're curious about how I power up everything, I did a video on that recently, so check out the link in the description. I love this shop because look, it's called Junk in a Box, right? A thrift store. When we go inside, there's junk in a box. It's so damn literal and I love it. I mean, this whole store looks really cool, but the only thing that I don't like is this bookcase door over here. I mean, I love the idea of the door, but I can't decorate it, so it draws attention to itself. Like if someone comes in and takes a look around and has half a brain, they'll be like, uh, you know, all these other shelves have shit on them but this entire bookcase is empty, so what's behind the bookcase, man? But still, regardless, it looks great and works perfectly for the railroad hideout. Now, I put in these concrete walls to close off this stairwell. I didn't want the stairs going right into the hideout. And I decorated this whole place to be a perfect spot for synths to take refuge. I have a ton of food and cooking supplies. Synths do eat food, right? Like. They aren't all just machine, where they don't have to eat anything. I I'm pretty sure they do. And, and if so, I put food in here, is basically what I'm trying to say. We also have an office area with a few terminals that connect back to HQ in case they need anything. And a cozy little spot to power down. Oh, and not to mention a bathroom. So if that whole food thing checks out, this is where they depart with said food. And I wanted a railroad flag right here on the wall, but I didn't have time to do any of the quests to become allies with them. I tried using console commands and that didn't really work, so just use your imagination. Alright, the last thing I want to show you is this building on the water. I changed it up a good bit, switched out the pieces with the ones from Workshop Rearranged, because I wanted a red roof to begin with, and I also extended it a little bit so the boat would fit in here. Someone commented the idea of having this as a boat repair shack, and I thought it was pretty cool. So I just used conduits on the boat and the ceiling, and then connected wires between them to make it look like it was hoisted in the air. Now don't ask me how they get the boat on and off, I don't know man, it just looks really cool. 
But anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. The next video will be of the pier. I know that area is pretty bare right now, so just look past it. But thanks for watching up to this point. Now here's the tour.
Alright, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Check out this next video, which YouTube suggested solely for you, which is pretty cool. And if you enjoyed this build, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.